All right, all right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I hope you are doing well. Welcome. There's the Butterman. How's it going, Butterman? It's going well. Hello, Darby. Hello. So uh, today uh, we are going to the Nether. Um, hey, Prime Star. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. And Sabrina. Hello. Thank you for hopping on. And um, the reason is that as we started to build the buildings last time and create the color scheme for the abandoned village that's uh, right over there, uh, we decided that we needed something a little darker. And so we need to go get some blackstone. And while we were doing the blackstone, we figured we may as well look for some warped wood and some of the crimson wood and all of those things that you can only get in the nether. So today we're gonna do another run and uh, we're glad to have you guys here. <laughs> Prime Star says, nice portal, thanks. <laughs> uh, I think Butterman built that. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I did. So okay. thank you, Prime Star. Sweet, so uh, we're just going to get started. I think we need to just go grab a couple things and then we will be off. And um, are we prepared for the nether? Probably not. Uh, uh, no, I feel prepared for the nether. Do you? Yes, of course. Okay, well, first off, let me just... Um, and actually, where's my helmet? Do I not have a helmet? There it is. Or is this your golden helmet? Oh, no, no, we don't touch that. That's my scuba. That's your scuba helmet. Where's my golden helmet? Or was it boots? I think it was boots. Oh yes, with thorns too. So uh, these are looking a little bit raggedy. So we will try to fix them up a little bit. Do I have any levels even? I don't think I have levels. Enchantment cost two. There we go. Okay, at least those will last a little bit longer than they normally would have. And I can use these in case I need to run. No, just kidding. I'll leave those here. So let's see. What do we have? Um, we're going to need to do some mining. Fortune 1, unbreaking. Efficiency 2, unbreaking 2. Okay. So we will use this over there. We'll use that. We have... An axe. We have that. We need to bring probably some cobblestone. Yeah, I'm bringing dirt. And we do have this pesky enderman that's been hanging out over here. Yeah, don't worry.
Well, now he's mad. Whoa! Homeboy's good at fighting. Get out of the way for my gear. <laughs> no, what? you have my stuff. Where Get back you? over here. Who took your stuff? You did. Give it back. I realize that. <laughs> Let's see. That's yours. That's yours. Gee, why yelling? There's some very important stuff there. I think that's probably your chicken. Um, arrows. There are more arrows, I think. Oh, cool. Thank you. These sticks are probably yours. Oh, yes, I carry many of those. And maybe that shovel? Uh, yeah, I think that might be mine. Thank you. Hey, Dyson. Thanks for joining. Yes, Rip Butterman. Um, Sabrina says enderman chose violence absolutely and hi and thanks for hopping on okay let's see so i mean food is really the big thing food and torches so i think i'm gonna make some more torches of uh, yeah in this chest here there are 36 more arrows and let's see cobblestone Cobblestone is up here. Uh, of course. Prime Star says, Doggo, can you hear the dogs? <laughs> They've started already. And here's uh, Mr. Cat, who doesn't like me. I have a whole 16 fish with your name on it, mister. And one day I'll get that cat. Yep, there goes Callie. She is barking. She probably wants treats, if I had to guess. And I'm going to take... this mini cobblestone. And we have that wood and dirt. I think that's Butterman's dirt. But we have lots. So since the last, uh, and let's see, Anne says, bad doggo. Um, she will again any second, and yes. Uh, so she does want a treat. That would be the complaint. So I did do a little bit of fishing. Uh, well, sword fishing. Not fishing for a swordfish, but fishing for a fish with a sword. And, uh, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Darby, don't pick a fight you won't win. <laughs> you have... <laughs> you know, actually, I think after we get this stuff, um, I know we need to do some, um... You have a lot more ammo than I do. Uh, yes. After we get this stuff, we need to build. But after we build uh, the first building, I think we should go back and find Boat Chicken and um, my bird. And maybe we can actually find Dyson and bring her back over here. Uh, yeah. Because Dyson's a good builder, and we need help. Speaking of building. Yes. Uh, my chickens and I, we've been um, discussing some things. I don't want to hear about your chickens. Well... Together we've come to a conclusion. Together? And <laughs> you have a committee over there? Yes. <laughs> uh, let's the see. Chickens and I, we have decided that netherite is needed. What? Yes, uh, we need netherite. Well, yeah, we can make some cool armor out of it. Uh, no, we need no enough for roughly about four blocks. Four blocks? Uh, yes. What are you going to do with netherite blocks? Well, they're quite conductive and um, are able to act as a pretty good heat sink. Um, 
So let me get this straight. You and the chickens got together, held a meeting, and decided that you need four blocks of netherite to use as a conductor for yes. something. That is completely correct. I don't know, chat. What do you think about that? Well, that's mildly scary. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, let's see. I think that I have everything that I need, except maybe three chicken or three fish. Oh, blocks. Smooth stone. And do you have enough food? Of course. And the chickens have provided me with all the provisions I need for this adventure. Okay, cool. So let's go do this. All right. So another run it is. And remember, this is our second nether position here. It's actually pretty safe in here, I think. What's up here? Are you coming, about our man? Yeah, I'm just making some more pickaxes, just in case. Okay. My diamond pickaxe should suffice. I think I see... Oh, I thought that was cobblestone from back there. Okay, so there's a torch there. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to keep this fortune one. Oh, fortune is not what I want. I want silk touch, man. Yeah. yeah. So we'll oh. get those later. You went down? Yeah, what's up, piglin? Whoa, okay. I'm um, on the way back. Oh. We are over a very dangerous area. Oh, wait. Well, it kind of yeah, looks we like we're very far down. Yeah, we're at 68. Okay. So let's go into the crimson right here. Begin going down. Okay. From looks of things, we are over Love Lake. Yep. However, there is a place where we aren't, so we'll go over there. And it requires we go through here. It should be down here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Come back here. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, look at that. Already. Very cool. Uh, let me go ahead and eat this, and we'll throw this in here. Are you still fighting? Yeah, there's a skeleton. Oh, okay. So, cool. We have a source of bones over here. But more and importantly, there is a strider. Let's see. We'll want to gather up some of this stuff. Hmm. Steal some XP. We've run into a rather um, curious situation. What is that sound? Uh, don't go down there. Okay. <laughs> Well, at least here is a crimson biome that we can take. And let's see. Let's take a look over on this side. Uh, let's see. Um, Dyson says the committee has spoken. Uh, Sabrina, chickens MVP. Okay, so um, Prime Star says, "Be careful." Yep, 
we will be careful. So it looks like everybody seems to be on the side of whoa, uh, Butterman and the chickens. So I guess that means we agree that you can have the first four blocks for whatever you're doing. Are you guys building something? Um. Well, of course. Why would we need that if we weren't building something? Mm-hmm. I seem to have forgotten a hoe. So this wood here is actually the crimson stem is really cool to build with. And as well, we can pick up some of these lights. And you know what? I'm going to build a hoe. One of the reasons that we bring wood uh, is, whoops. Um, that as you find stuff, you can build stuff, right? So I tend to take wood every place that I go. And the other reason is because Kelly says so, apparently, barking. You know what? I'm going to do that. Then we will. There we go. Now I can go get that stuff. Oh, I thought that was Butterman, and I'm like, they're two Butterman. What is the plural of Butterman? Buttermen. Buttermen? Okay. Let's see. We will use this for nerd pulling. So um, this is the correct tool to pick up this stuff, uh, which is cool because, you know, you used to make like one hoe and then use part of it and never touch it again back in the day. And now they've actually made them useful. So it's always good when developers are able to make everything that you craft and all of that useful in the long term. Um, so I think that these changes have done a lot towards that. And these lights are really cool, actually. They don't give off particles, and they give off quite a bit of light. And as you know, particle can particles can equal lag, so... We'll just knock these down and hope they don't fall in. There we go. And we'll go down on the stem. All right. So how's everybody's weekend gone so far? I know we always ask, but we are always interested in how people are doing and all of that. We, um, if you took a look at the Instagram, you will see that we uh, posted a couple of the encounters that we had, uh, at least the beginning portions of them. And uh, so we did finish out a D&D campaign. Um, it's about a year long, something like that. And uh, so that was a lot of fun. And um, the party was successful, which means that everybody survived, or at least ended up surviving. Uh, even if they did die um, during a fight, they were able to be brought back, which was nice. And uh, let's see, nobody got erased from existence. So that's always a bonus too. All right. So, Butterman, what was your favorite part of the adventure yesterday? I'm... Um... I thought the final fight was cool. Yeah, it was fun. I don't know, it, with that party, you guys just... Just DMing you guys it was enjoyable. That's good to hear. Yeah, the group of players has played a bit together, so there's kind of a synergy there where everybody... Um, 
role plays well off of each other and the fighting uh people use their their characters to play off of the strengths of each other and so it ends up being a really enjoyable type of game and let's see um Primestar says, do you think you'd use any of the nether blocks besides blackstone or basalt for the village? Yeah, I think that the um, warped the warped stem and the crimson stem are good. I think that these um, these leaves, I guess, I'm, I'm not sure what they're actually called. I think they're cool. I think some of the vines will be used, maybe not in the village, but at least in some of the builds we use, we do. Uh, the warp stuff, for those who don't know, is just like what you're looking at, but it's this um, deep tealy green blue. Um, and so I think that that, I mean, obviously, if we can find gilded blackstone and all of that, that's definitely going in something. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're going to try to gather up uh, pretty much everything we can find. And then Dyson says, the Butterman Empire. Yep. Anne is crying. That's your dog, she says, speaking to me. Uh, Dyson loves crows. It's been good. Finished two campaigns and starting a new one tomorrow. So Dyson is uh, involved in another campaign that starts tomorrow, which is awesome. Um, not D&D, but a different game. And Sabrina says, I'm excited for tomorrow. I believe Sabrina is also involved. And um, Dyson says, Astra did die, though, for less than a minute, but still. Yeah, Astra, Dyson's character, did die, but was subsequently brought back through the um, power of an artifact. So there you go. High fantasy D&D stuff and things. Um, Darby. Yes. I'm, I need one of two things. Either one, industrial-grade lava-proof pump, or two, um, an extra set of hands in a bucket. Sorry? I'm... Do you have a bucket? Do I have a bucket? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I've started the process of removing lava from a place so that way I can begin heading downward into the lava. Okay. I think I see your gamer tag. The problem is, is we need to head about Let's 17 get... blocks down. Why do we need to be down there? That's where the netherite is. Oh. So you're looking for netherite rather than blackstone. Well, it should be all in the same place. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> um, while you're doing that... Oh, this seems so dangerous to me. It's not. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> you see, everything was fine. <laughs> then you started digging. I wasn't digging. It was a chicken. <laughs> Chickens will never sabotage these plans. It wasn't me, chat. It was my fish. Um, you realize... You realize that we're just going to be in lava lakes the whole time, right? Yes. I just don't know how deep it goes. I mean, there might be an area where there aren't lava lakes, so it might be worth maybe trying to find that first. But... So then, do you want to make a tunnel straight down into here? Ideally, yes. Block off the sides? Uh, I, I wish I had... Well, actually, if we find another fortress, we then could go and we can get mag magma cream and we could get a brewing stand. Then we could go and we can make potions of lava resistance and just go straight through the lava. That makes a lot of sense to me. We'll need blaze rods. Yeah. Okay, people. Slight change of plans. 
um, since the Blackstone is uh, in the same location as the... Um... Whoa! What's up, little dude? Dude, it's tanky. Well, it's like the zombie kids. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just go in the... Oh. See? And we can just go ahead. I say you leave him there. We can just... Oh. I was going to try putting him in the lava. That works too. <laughs> um, those guys are super, super uh, dangerous, by the way. They'll come and punk you from behind and make you regret coming to the nether. Okay, so you're going to widen that. Let's see. Um, chat. Which direction, north, south, east, west, should we go to find another fortress? And in the meantime, um, Prime Star says tomorrow is going to be a good session. I can feel it. Yep, I would think so. Dyson says north. Dyson says north. Okay. Let us find north. Oh, we have repopulated, apparently. Or are the piggies coming? Where did they put the cardinal directions on here? Facing. Where is facing? West, south, east, north. Great. Uh, north is where... <laughs> north is where we were. But we'll go above there. Oh, hello. So these guys are hoglins or piglins, sorry. Um, if we weren't wearing the gold that we are, if I didn't have these boots on, they'd be bodying my character right now. So it looks like we need to go this way, Butterman. Are you building a bridge? Yeah. Why? See? It's a great bridge. Uh, north is this way. Um, Darby, let me take over. Mining too slowly. Sorry? Your pickaxe is slow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whoa! Yeah, huh? This, I deserve. I deserve that. So I'm probably going to die. Eat. Okay, if you want to come back, <laughs> rip Butterman. Uh, let's see. Anne says, where is the session tomorrow? Um, downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah, if you want to shoot on back here. Uh, don't forget your gold to wear. No, don't worry. They won't pick a fight with me. Yeah, they will. He's in the corridor here. The call's coming from the house, Butterman. Sorry? He's he was in the corridor. I'm just looking at your stuff. Callie uh, is giving her um, condolences. You know what we actually need to do? So we learned a long time ago, and we actually whoa. Um, <laughs> created a rule. <laughs> when you run out of torches, you have to leave the nether. Can you guys oh, hear Callie going off? Hoglinoids. Never mind. Yeah. I almost got there for the record. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, okay. 
and says, I'm kicking them out. That's it. Yeah, so Anne has had enough. So suck. we may get some um, Labradors on the live stream. We were thinking that it'd be cool to have um, put a GoPro on the Labradors so that uh, it's like out there and looking at their face while we live stream. We could put the face cam up of them. <laughs> uh, I can hear the dogs being let out now. So um, the layout in our places, we have uh, the office and studio stuff and all of that. Um, with You've some... got to be kidding me. Okay, Darby, pick up my stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just pick it up and put it in something, please. Man, this is, this is frustrating. Now we're out of gold. We're out of gold. I can get some. Well, I have one more gold thing, but it's my scuba helmet. Um, let's see. I will need to just pick it up. We have like two minutes left on the spawner on the time until it disappears. Okay. Just relax, buddy. And going to make a chest. And start dumping stuff in here. So anything that I pick up should be Buttermans. That's probably Buttermans. That's Buttermans. No, those are mine. That iron axe will be his. Crossbow, diamonds. Did we get everything? Yeah. Let's see. Bones. There, there. Probably those. This, definitely. Actually, let's do that. And to make things simpler, I will do this. And he's probably making ladders with those sticks. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe I need to make another chest. So. Here we go. Uh, that would definitely be his chicken. Okay, I'm back. Now I can dump the rest of this in there. Chicken, this... Here are a bunch of torches. Uh, there are certain things in here I'm going to keep in here. Yeah, and I think I'll dump some of this stuff to pick up on the way back. Yeah. So we'll dump that, we'll dump this, we'll dump these. You know, we had one of these guys, um, the babies, in Darby World 2.0 in our Blackstone mining operation the whole time. It was almost like he was watching us for his dad or something. That's an iron sword. What about this armor here? Um, this armor is very valuable. At least the Soul Speed 3 and the... Protection okay, through respiration so to it. aqua affinity helmet. Did you want to dig through there? Or do you want me to? Um, it's not worth digging through there. <laughs> All right, so we will light up the way. And so these torches are literally just to tell us how to get back. Sabrina says, ah, oh, it's a baby piglin. Yes, it is. Um, there's a ghast, if you can hear that, that sounds like a cat, because it actually is a cat. The sound was made from a cat. All right. Soul Sand Valley. 
this looks like it's a bit bigger. What is that? Huh. Okay, I'm going to lay this down here. There's some basalt. Um, yeah, let's try over here. And if you're wondering why we're moving so slowly, it's because this soul sand makes you slow down. And I'll put that there so we know to go in here. So Dyson said north, so we're going north. Let's see what biome we're in. Yeah, still in the Soul Sand Valley. What is that? Oh, that's just... We can use that to make um, blue torches, right? And lanterns? Oh, uh, yes. All right. Executive wanna... decision. My hero gassed, and the only bridge kind we can make would be one wide, and <laughs> it'd be mostly likely made out of a very exploitable material. Okay, let me go over there. One second. Oh, no, the coast is clear. All right. So the nether, it's actually a terrible place to go. Because if we get knocked off of this, that's where we live from now on. Um, you can't set a spawn point in the nether with a bed. Because beds explode when you lay in them. So you have to use a uh, spawn point. Um, let's see. Dyson says, that's why I can't go with you guys. To the nether? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah, and Prime Star is saying, this is some ominous looking generation. <laughs> Yeah, I've never actually seen it like this before. And it looks like Butterman's going upstairs. All right. That is probably the best choice to go up higher. I'd rather not have a pit of lava directly underneath me. Yep. Once we get fire resistance potions, I will be swimming in the lava. If you hit lava again, just run behind me, and I'll put down um, a block to stop it. Okay. Dyson says, I've been scared from dying so much. Yeah. They did a good job at making the nether more ominous and um, a tougher place to go. What have Perfect. we got out there? We're almost there. Okay, sweet. This is where there's gravel. Therefore... We can dig underneath it. Okay. So we are in a soul stand valley still. By the way, building bridges over lava out of soul sand is a good idea. Because it limits your movement. Ah. So it keeps you from falling. Butterman tips. Do you need stuff? What okay. isn't a good idea to build it out of in the nether is netherrack. No, because it gets blown apart whenever a gas shoots it. Check this out. See, I can't actually build off of the soul sand while holding dirt. So you have to do something like this. That's very precarious. Don't try this at home. <laughs> All right. So you see the blue flames over there? That is something that we can do with our lanterns and all that with some of the materials here. 
And let's see, I don't see much very interesting out there, but look at these basalt um, pillars and such. Where is he? I don't know, but I'm not chancing it. Hi. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm, I'm hiding. <laughs> okay, just heal up. I, I need to be hungry first. Here, let me jump. Okay. <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> well, we have ladders, so we can go back up. Here. Okay, okay. Don't don't do anything. Just stay in Okay, I can I have a good bow. I can, ooh, I can kill him. Darn me. He's dead. Oh. Darby top not for the win. Okay. Darby? Yes. I don't want to push you into the lava. <laughs> this is another fine mess. There's another ghast. Oh, homeboy! Okay, let me just uh, eat this and then I'll kill him. Oh, yeah. Where is he? I got him. Did you? With his own fireball, hitting another one of his fireballs. So, unfortunately, did not count his return to sender. Oh. However... Um, okay. So I guess we have to go this way. So, um, yeah. How's everybody feeling about this trip so far? <laughs> um, yeah, Dyson says DTK for the win. <laughs> uh, and is saying, please get the dog. <laughs> Imploring Dyson to go get the dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what do you think the odds are, guys? Um, do we win? Do we not win? What do you think? It's, uh... Did you fall on the lava? Yeah. Oh, no, you're on those. I'm going to be doing a test of depth. Oh. Okay. This is good. Okay. I'm going to dig through here. So no! That's annoying. This is the way I usually do it, because then the lava will come down, you know, the top one, and I'll be able to run away. Let's go ahead and put that there. So, yeah. Okay. I've gone further into the... Oh! Yes, 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 yes. What'd you find? We're almost at the depth for netherite. <laughs> You're still after netherite. Well, you'll find blackstone at this depth as well. All I hear is lava. Sorry? All I hear is lava. Let's go ahead and put that there. Man, there's so much here. You'd think this was a nether or something. Yeah. Sweet. Were you able to get down there? Yep. I should probably make a bridge over to that. Okay. So you can stand on uh, magma blocks as long as you crouch. I don't know why, but I'm very thankful. Oh. 
This actually looks I'm like... Blackstone. I was going to say, this actually looks like the same type of location we had our Blackstone. Yep. Sweet. So, here we go, guys. So now that we've found it... Butterman. Intrepid adventurers. Don't you think? Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. So now that we have this, we will just go ahead and try to dig it out as much as possible. Um, okay, so what will happen, guys, is usually in these areas, you'll have magma blocks spawn. So if we dig it up four, they're going to spawn uh, more than likely. And let me see, what have we got here? I'm going to actually do this way. Seriously? And all that noise going on is above us, so we're not terribly worried. We may have to deal with it when we get back up, but um, let's try going this direction. Netherrack is pretty easy to break, so you don't really need special tools for it. If you do, you can instamine it like Butterman has been doing. But it destroys your durability. Yeah, because your durability well, is on the number of items. Um, not necessarily what they are, right? So uh, let's go ahead and we'll just leave that like that so we know not to go in there. You know, it might be worthwhile bringing beds down here. Okay, it's another dead end. <laughs> let's try this way. And it looks like Butterman's already over there. Okay. And we'll block that off. Okay, so if I go this way, actually, we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. There's the end of the deposit. In our one in um, Darby World 2.0, it was a magma... Um, a magma spawner. We were getting magma cubes left and right. Uh, so much so it was hilarious. Right? So I'm going to just make some tools. And that is what I want. So we'll replace that. Uh, let's see. Um... Susie says, hi, sorry I'm late. Hey, Susie, thanks for joining. We appreciate you hopping on. Uh, everybody is welcoming Susie, who says, what's up, people? Um, Dyson says, how's life? Susie says, pretty chill. How about you, Dyson? And Dyson is getting scared because school's really soon. Imagine there are a lot of people feeling like that right now. Uh, let's see. Hey, Butterman. Hello. May have found the smallest deposit of Blackstone in the world. Let's see what's over here. I'll save durability. So, Butterman, is there anything you want to share with us about the TT uh, RPG you're starting tomorrow? Um, are there too many participants in the chat? Well, given that there are participants in the chat, I can tell them one thing, and that is to do their log. <laughs> so, we have a tradition uh, when we play tabletop RPGs. And that is of doing logs. And so a friend of mine 
when we used to play D and D like years and years and years and hundreds of years ago, he started taking notes. Um, I guess I should probably mark that not to go in there. And uh, he did it in um, notebooks, obviously. But the funny part was that uh, we found some and it allowed us to go back and remember what had happened in those campaigns. And it was such a cool thing um, because he kind of, uh, he has a really sarcastic sense of humor. Um, and so he wrote it from that standpoint. And so what we started doing when we started playing again is having people do adventure logs in the Discord. So from their character's perspective, talk about what's going on, right? And um, so it gives you over the course of an adventure, let's say uh, your, let's say your um, campaign lasts a year. You'll have a year's worth of adventure logs from each session from each of the characters. So you get this really rich story that's there and it'll spark you able and you know, make you able to remember what was actually going on. And so, you know, that's something that we, um, we kind of carry on and the GMs will give benefits for actually doing so to the characters or to the players rather. And so, uh, yeah, maybe something that you could look at implementing in your own games because it does add a whole new dimension to things, I would say. Um, Darby. Oh, wait, we've got drippy stuff up there. I'm not digging there. Yeah. I'm going to head back and restock on equipment. What do you need? Pickaxes. I can make them here. Uh, made of actual used good material. <laughs> I can't help you with that. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mine these out. Blackstone to me is one of the best looking building materials in the game. And it, you find it in these weird deposits that kind of worm around other places. Hey, chat, you know what I just thought of? Who thinks that Butterman just went back for beds, too? Shh. Leave a comment if you think that Butterman's going to blow up the nether. And let's go through here. Dyson. <laughs> uh, Dyson says 100%. Sabrina says I did my log. Um, Susie says he definitely will. <laughs> Yeah, I think you guys have uh, kind of learned how things work around here. And how do they work exactly? Um, you blow things up. I'm not going to say that if you were a superhero, your name would be Ulterior Motive Man, but, you know. Hmm. All right, so it looks like this one's about <laughs> mined out. <laughs> we'll pick all that up. Okay, how much did we get? Oh, almost a stack and a half. That's good. Um, we had a like football field sized cube on the other world, so uh, there should be more and more and more and more as we move through here. Um, Butterman, you know what? I could probably use some better tools myself. There we go. Whoa! These little piggies are very aggressive. The little ones? Yeah, someone needs to come through here and destroy them. Let's see what we've got down here. Okay, let's go make another one. And I think that I will... Make a couple of those. So, uh, as you can see, much of Minecraft is... Oh, we're down to bedrock. 
funny thing is the nether also has a bedrock ceiling. One day, uh, bedrock is a, bro a block you can't actually break, so you, you can't actually damage it. Um, however, one day we are going to go up and get on top of the bedrock ceiling up there and we'll make a network of um, of nether portals to be able to get from place to place really quickly and easily. Wouldn't it be funny if I found a bunch of netherite before Butterman got back? Ah, yes, my backup efficiency and I'm breaking diamond pickaxe. Then I'll just come back and I'll repair the other one when I have enough <laughs> levels. Always come prepared. Uh, let's see. Pros 21 only. How you doing, Leo? <laughs> um, sorry for butchering your, your name there. Um, Sabrina says, uh, Butterman likes explosives. Absolutely. Um, and apparently pros only uh, is hungry. There we go. Hopefully I can find another place with some blackstone. Well, there you go. Blackstone. See each of these blocks I break? You look for dripping... Um, Okay, there's that. Or dripping lava. And, uh, yeah. If there's dripping lava, you don't break the block. <laughs> okay, so we will dig through here and we will pick up this blackstone. Wonder if we can dig back to the other place we were. All we have to do is go back that way a few blocks, not that far. You guys can hear the gas outside. We're finding, oh, there's some more blackstone. Very nice. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have a good quarry here. Uh, we just thought that with the bright colors, that having something darker would um, be a really good offset to it. Let me try digging through here and see what we're actually dealing with size-wise. Okay, I have some diamond pickaxes. I mean, not diamond, I mean iron pickaxes for you. Okay, cool. I'll use them. Um, okay, there. There's lava right above here. So we need to stop digging there. Let's dig this way and see what we've got. Okay. So let's go ahead and pop through here and hopefully we'll come out where we started, eventually. Yeah, I thought so. I really do not like soul sand. Okay. So let's go back down here. And I'm going to dig back down. I didn't think it was that far. So it's all... Yeah, so we probably just got into that stuff. Imagine if I dig here. Yep. See that? That's where we were. Okay, so we need to go out. Dig down right here. And we should be into... This is a problem. 
What's the problem? Um, I'm very soon going to be out of a scene from Matrix. As I'm crossing these bridge, bridges <laughs> with, um, ghasts on either side. Oh, I hear that. Do you need help? I'm good. Okay. And let's see. I will make another one of those. So, okay. chat, what's on the agenda for this week, guys? Derby. Yeah? Behind you. Thank you, sir. Uh, by the way, don't dig this way. And don't dig too far that way either. Um, here, I'll give you some similar advice. Don't go anywhere near where I'm about to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it because of the blast that will be going off? Yes. Yeah, you guys listen. I bet Butterman's inventory right now is probably full of um, beds. Okay, let's see what we've got. We'll just use up this efficiency one. You know, I've never actually done this trick before in Minecraft. Really? Make sure you put a block in front of you. A good tough block. How'd it go? Um. No, another right. Are you? Where are you? I will continue. Yeah. So, chat. This is what a Butterman adventure looks like. Where are you? You okay? Hmm. No, oh, no lava. But tons of blackstone and bedrock. Absolutely wonderful. So, Butterman, would you like to demonstrate the bed trick? Sure. So the idea is that if you explode this, you can use TNT. Um, people use beds because it's kind of cheaper if you have the materials. Kind of way cheaper. Yeah, unless you don't have sheep. Um, yes, but sheep are replenishable once you get so them. So are creepers. Um, yeah, but that requires uh, many farms. <laughs> so since beds explode in the nether... Oh, you're right above where I was. What you do is you place a bed. Let me get a good a um, good vantage point here. We're going to hop up here. I'm not Don't sure worry. you're doing this right. You're, I'm fine. You're supposed to use something that isn't <laughs> nether wreck <laughs> as you're blocking. Well... They didn't exactly make a manual on this one. I'm sure there is one on YouTube. But... Yeah, so this will be the tutorial. We're going to post this as a uh, short that's a tutorial. How about that, chat? Uh, let's see. For this week... Um... Okay, so describe what you're doing there, Butterman. Okay, so you have to go and make a tunnel... That's two blocks high. Go back about like five blocks. Place your bed. Put a good block get, in front of you. Get like two blocks of choice. Place them in front of you. And then you're going to right click on the bed as you move backwards. And it makes a big explosion, which then exposes all of the netherite. Um. Ideally, it exposes all of the netherite. At the very least, this has given us a lot of blackstone to mine out. Yeah, which I think is much better than if we'd been doing it the uh, more um, traditional way. So, I'll take this. Hey, chat. Does anybody remember how to get back to the nether portal? Me either. Oh, I do. Cool. So, I'm going to go back and start mining again. Sit through here. 
Oh, is the blast resistance of black stone high? I think so. Okay, well, then I'll be using that as my barricade. Yeah, I would too. Oh, it's way better. <laughs> yeah. You don't even get hurt, right? No. And let's see, we have some stuff in the chat. Um, Dyson says, some game sessions with the better man and a mini vacation and getting ready for school. Um, Sabrina says, this week will probably be the new campaign stuff. Drawing, reading, and contemplating my impending doom as school approaches. <laughs> and says, school, cry emoji. Uh, Sabrina, cry emoji. Susie, nothing stressing about school, cry emoji. <laughs> yes! Anne says, I personally do not want school. Susie yes. says, I second that, Anne. Darby, another right. Okay, don't mind it yet. This is... Oh, how long did it take on <laughs> Darby World 2.0? A long time. Yeah. Oh, there we go, guys. Through the power of chickens and butter. The and part explosive chickens buds. and butter. So yes. there we go. One of the best blocks in the game there. Okay, now we need quite a bit more for this machine. So, Butterman. Yes. Um, how, how many of those blocks do you need to get your four actual blocks? Um... We, it takes what three to make three and a gold to make a block or to make an ingot. Is that right? Yeah. Well. Okay, and it takes nine ingots to make a block. So yes. three times nine is twenty-seven, and then twenty-seven times four is one hundred and eight. Yeah. Cool. Well. Uh, the chickens and I might be able to make, come up with a more efficient design if it's that much of a problem. I am so looking forward to seeing what this design is. However, I will say there might be repercussions for making a cheaper design. That sounds ominous. Um, I hope that you guys realize that as Butterman said that, the nether was making its scary noise, so... I think the nether might know what's going on as well. Any bets in the chat? Um, what do you think Butterman and the chickens are up to? <laughs> oh, it's so funny to hear just explosions going on. I hear skellies. All right. So let's see how we're doing on Blackstone. Oh, I'm going to have to dump a bunch of this nether rack. Hey. That was unfriendly. I didn't know they actually spawned down here. How about if we do that? And another rack. I'll keep one thing of it just in case. Dump this soul sand. And now we're doing okay on Blackstone. Butterman, your your holes have been super helpful. They have? Oh yeah. It exposed so much. Okay, well I brought enough beds to end a mini war. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Anne says, up to no good. Yep, I I would second that. Um, or who knows? It might be something actually really good. Uh, you never can tell. And Dyson says, something that will cause complication. 
Oh. I think he may have come by that that trait, um, honestly. <laughs> He's not not isolated in uh it's, Oh, it's so funny. I can just hear the booms, Butterman. Yeah, uh, I apparently can feel them. I... And Sabrina says, Butterman is amassing a chicken army. Yeah, we know that he has created the um, chicken maker. And then when we moved, he upgraded it. And so it is a self-sustaining system that will literally, if you leave it on, it will just create chickens. It'll create more and more chickens that will then create more and more chickens. So, um, yeah. And we will dig down here. Got another ghast overhead. That wasn't you, was it? That was me. Okay. Because I'm hearing a ghast and I heard that and it sounded like the ghast. Let's get all that down. Uh, Sabrina thinks that Butterman is making chicken armor. Or armor for the chickens, not armor made of chickens. Can chickens wear netherite armor? Um, they did just change the rules for making netherite armor and stuff. We need more than we used to need, uh, which was basically just netherite before and a diamond thing. You turn it into netherite with one ingot. doesn't work that way anymore, which is probably a good thing because it, you know, had become kind of cheapened in the economy, I think, in the Minecraft economy. So I think that was probably a good decision on Mo Yang's part. It looks like we're now getting into the gray beds. The gray beds? Yep. What does that mean? Well, I have several different kinds of beds. After this, it's the pink oh, beds. The gray beds, right. Beds, beds. I thought you were talking about like the gray um, beds where we're digging. Hmm. Um, I mean, if anybody's wondering, actually knocking down, um, and you Minecraft players might be freaking out right now that we're doing it, knocking down gravel when you're underground in the nether is a disaster waiting to happen. So I should probably not do that because sometimes there will be lava pools above them. And that never works out for anybody. Cool. Okay, let's see. There's another one. All right. So we are working on um, some new surprises for the channel. Uh, like we said before, the Instagram is up and um, you can actually see uh, some posts of a uh, couple of the beginning battle maps that we were doing in this last session. Um, we plan to post a lot more from the past. We've had some pretty elaborate ones um, throughout the campaigns. And uh, like I said, we want to post maps and um, different information about locations and stuff like that. So, you know, cities and all of those things, maybe eventually adventures as well, providing those to you guys. So if anybody has any ideas on um, how best to do that, to, you know, get those maps and things to you as easily as possible, um, you know, we can pretty much create anything, but just as far as, uh, the best ways to share them 
that would be very, very helpful for us. You know, just let us know your ideas and what works for you. Uh, we'll probably end up at some point setting up a Discord as well, I would say. Um, and see how that goes. Uh, because then we can share more and more stuff. And uh, the idea here is to have a community of cool people uh, who enjoy having fun playing games. And um, there we go. So um we'd love to have you guys be involved in the ideas for making this channel and um everything better and you know uh, in my career uh, one of the things i've always done is built really good teams and that was through a belief that um four people in a room are always going to be smarter than one person in a room Right. And uh, also with the um, with the approach that I don't care which of us is right. I don't care if I'm right. I don't care if you're right. As long as one of us is right, and then we'll just do what that guy said or girl. Um, let's see. Let's go up there. We have some uh, other normal videos coming up that you guys should keep your eyes out for yeah this what this is the first one that butterman did and you see up there how it's dripping there's a lava lake up there so we'll come back with some yellow and black tape caution tape and put it across there at some point and where's that how much do we have? Oh, we have a really good amount now. How's it going, Butterman? Uh, I have not found any more since the initial Ooh. discovery. There's the zombie piglin. They used to be called zombie pigmen. Um, these guys, they will not attack you unless you smack one of them. And if you do, then they will all come after you. And it's actually one of the funniest things to try to get them to be de-aggroed because you actually have to stay around them to keep them loaded, but be out of their sight at the same time. And, you know, if you start running, any that you come in contact with while the aggro is going on will also be aggroed to you. And so it's like this self-sustaining machine. It's almost like a chicken maker. Um, so we have had to, <laughs> to deal with that in the past, the distant past. Um, is that you, Butterman? Yes. Okay. Um, in the distant past, I may have mentioned this. We were under the impression that if you shot one with a ranged weapon, it wouldn't aggro. And so that was safe to do. And this was not the case. And so we had to come up with some clever ways to de-aggro those guys. <laughs> you guys can see Butterman is right through there and blowing stuff up still. Have you found any more? Nope. All right. So, people who have played Minecraft in the past, um, what are the funniest lessons that you've learned in real time in Minecraft? So, what are the things that have... Wow, that's a big hole. Uh, what are the things that uh, you either learned the hard way or you didn't know and thought it was funny when a situation actually came up? Uh, something that you hadn't seen about the game that you've figured out on your own. Uh, why don't you tell us all about some of those things? Okay, now we're about to really slow down on our mining here. We're back to stone tools. What is that sound? 
Do you guys hear that? Hmm. Butterman, what was uh, one of the lessons you've learned that you were not aware of going into something? Um... That if you make a redstone machine that is too efficient, it will end up breaking despite the um, wiring making sense. That was an old Minecraft. I managed to glitch out redstone torches. So that way they no longer had a pulse. Oh, wow. Because I was able to get a dispenser to unleash an entire stack of arrows. I think in like under like three seconds. <laughs> it was like something really strange. I, I think I was able to get it to, like... I know that it was, like, every tick it would f cause a thing, but the tick speed was wacky. That was back when I started... was learning about redstone. Yep. Things have changed quite a bit. Yeah, they have. Uh, my favorite thing is um, that people would always make sand dupers. So uh, they'd make machines that would allow you to duplicate sand. We've never made any of those or anything, obviously. But um, the community did this all the time, right? And so that was a thing. And Moyang used to always patch them to make them not work again. And they would release a patch that you know would be like, okay, well, you can't dupe sand anymore. And the community within hours would have already... Um, made a made a fix to the patch so they already would have made it so that um you could dupe sand again they would have made a new machine and there was like this arms race going on i don't know if it's still going on but that was always uh something that i thought was funny um and i think that both sides of that war probably were doing it in in good faith you know, I don't think there was animosity there. I just thought that, uh, think that it was probably funny to everybody and that the developers were probably like, oh, come on, guys. Um, so, uh, people always come up with clever ways to do stuff. Let's More see. More netherite has been obtained. Sorry? I obtained another piece of netherite. You found one? Well, ancient debris, yes. Cool. Um, that's not a bad start. See, Sabrina says, Diamonds should not be in my inventory. I will suddenly fall into lava. I may understand that very well. Uh, we haven't seen it so far on this world. I guarantee you there will be some type of horrible accident at some point where lots of stuff is lost um all you have to do is go watch some of the arc videos um and actually one of the ones coming up will demonstrate uh how often things kind of go wrong when you're trying to do stuff the right way but yes <laughs> diamonds in the inventory uh get rid of important stuff as quickly as possible carry another chest Uh, Prime Star says diamonds and lava shouldn't mix, but they love to attract regardless. Yeah, I think maybe there is uh, something going on uh, magnetism wise. Polarity. Let's do this. Butterman, do you have a theory on that? You're the one who took uh, electromagnetism um, last year. Well, it could. Possibly come from, well, I think that we are neglecting, maybe it's not so much a magnetism as much as it's a sentience of maybe lava. And that lava just really doesn't like you. No, that could be possible. Okay, guys, so now... Let's see what we've got over here. I 
think I am just about full for Blackstone. Okay, just let me know when you're ready to go, and I'll begin making my way back. Let's go this way. Run across here. I just have three more beds to get through. Oh, cool. Hopefully you find something in those three beds. Maybe, and if not, well, I've already got three ancient debris, which... I know a little bit more is needed. I mean, I go. have an idea as how to scrape by with less because each of the blocks of netherite, well, you'd already did the math on how dense they are with netherite. Yeah. A single ancient debris could possibly be used to fill that but I don't know how confident I would feel about having that. So I think at least one block of netherite is possibly needed. <laughs> so from one to four. It's quite a compromise. Well... We can use ancient to bring the rest of it. If mm. we get some gold blocks, we might be able to have some more because we just need some conductors. Wait, mm. actually, water act is a good coolant. Okay. Right. Oh, we're not that right. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Chat says, Dyson says, yo, don't take any shortcuts. Uh, yeah, Dyson also lives on this world, so she's probably concerned. You'll blow something up, Butterman, no. <laughs> and let's see. You don't even know why I'm building it, so you have no reason to be concerned. I, I think it might be the opposite. I'm going to grab this netherrack. We'll leave that there. We can get it in the overworld. Um, I'm going to actually leave torches here as well. What is that sound? Yeah, so Butterman, I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, I've got two more beds. I'm just picking all this stuff up. Ah! It's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> that didn't sound like nothing. It, it was nothing. Why are you on fire for so long in the nether? Um, because it's the nether. Jerks. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right. So chat, I think that's enough stuff. And you know what? Since we do need the gold, I am going to a single lava source block is what caused me that trouble. Boy, if I leave that, you know what? Uh, we can melt that down. No, I'm gonna leave it. Before you get um before you get your silk touch pickaxe, it's always a decision on oh do I break this ore block now or do I wait? And so I'm deciding to wait on these things over here. Uh, because we can do better stuff with them if we have them in their current form. Let's see, Dyson says, uh yeah, I guess going back, you'll blow something up with your history. We all do. <laughs> okay. You know what? Maybe I will take 
this stuff, though. That's fortunate. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Because we will be building with white. So, this is the mining portion of Minecraft. This is the stuff that people miss when they watch the videos rather than the live streams. Um, picking up all of this stuff, so... Kind of getting tired of those guys. Okay, I'm back. Where are you? Behind you. Hello. Hello. Okay, well. I'm ready to go back. Are you? Okay, let's see. Yeah, I have tons of stuff here. Um, One thing I am going to do is I'm going to cheat a screenshot there of our coordinates. Okay, cool. We go this way, right? Uh, yes. Prime Star, what are your thoughts on bed mining in the nether? I think that... Having just done it, I see why people do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you die from it, it's literally called intentional game design. So, I don't think there's anything cheesy about it. Yeah, and Minecraft has really always been about exploiting stuff. You know what? That's... Hey, don't nerd pull up with that. <laughs> Darby? Yeah? Be very careful about this next jump you're going to make. What do you mean? We're just hopping. Oh yeah, that slows me way down. All right, so on our way back to the overworld, we will make some stuff out of this black stone. Whoa. My, the cord on my mouse just wrapped, bent slightly around like a post on my desk. Oh, and yeah? it Pulled just you? drove my mouse to the side and nearly had me jump into lava. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I'm going to take this stuff. I felt whatever that cir circulatory organ is that pumps blood, it, it stopped for a second. Uh huh. I'm just going to fill up that slot, if you're wondering, chat. Okay, there's an Enderman here, and I really, really want to say hello to him with my diamond sword. Do you want to wait for me, or do you want to die on your own? That's that's the thing, is I don't want to, to risk death, because apparently I've not the best um, track record with... Enderman, so I will instead uh, return from which um, I came, and I will be going to the uh, overworld. Okay, and I am just making my way along. I'm just gathering up quartz as I make my way. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? I will take this quartz, um, trade out some of this, for some of this. This stuff we can do later. I really want those blocks. So let's dump that and grab that. Yeah, I think that's a good trade.
That is the strangest noise. This is probably repopulated. Cool. Okay. Uh, where do we go down? Go down over here, right? Okay. <laughs> I am getting my rear end kicked. You know, among the things that... that what if this ex if this machine proves to be worthwhile, I might have to invest um, some time with the chickens into creating some lava res resistant um, threads for my next tuxedo. Okay, chat. Don't tell Butterman about what just happened. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. I'm gonna go get that. Experience point, though. No, we just had an altercation. How do I get out of here? Anybody remember? Um, you're, you should be heading the right way. Uh, hopefully. Everybody's running. That probably isn't good. Ah, here we go. Is this where it was? Nope. Also, oh, this semi-automatic um, bamboo farm I made last stream really sucks. I think I'm going to destroy <laughs> this. Um, the second I forgot how to use this, um, well, the second I forgot how to do vertical redstone, oh, there. it all sort of broke down. Also, building out of netherrack is repulsive. Here we go. You know what? How? Prime Star, that is a brilliant idea. Shields would be a great technological advancement. Here we go. Let's have some fish before I try going any farther. Or I guess I could try to eat that and close this entire place up. And looks like we go up there. All right. Yeah, Prime Star Shield. Definitely. Just going to fill this up. Sixty four. There we go. And we'll make our way back up. Hope we're going to the right place. Nope. Hey, Butterman? Yes? Where is... Where is the thing? Um... Have you not found it? No. Uh... One second. Go upward. So we go up that way? No, not to there. Make a right. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got it. Let me mark this better. Oh, I don't have any. Yep, chat. Um, now you guys can see how horse quest happened. Awesome. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and make some stuff with all of this. Uh, what are we cooking in there? Okay, Butterman's already cooking some bricks, so I think we'll be okay with that. And we have Blackstone, so we'll make some stuff with that. And there we go. It's a good thing we have all this here. water. Why? Well, what are you building? I'm 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 plotting. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. <laughs> oh, I don't know, guys. Let's see. Block of quartz. I need blocks of quartz to work on this, right? Yes. So, block of quartz, boom. You can see that the economy on quartz is not that great, but we can make these things with it, which look cool. And it's uh, also an inert uh, material, which is useful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Prime Star says, leave Butterman to his dark buttery rituals. Okay, so uh, it looks like the chat has decided that we should let Butterman and his chickens make whatever they're going to make over there. And um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. We'll, <laughs> we'll leave him to his dark buttery rituals. Let me dump these in here and put these in there. Then if we do this... You can see we have a bunch of different options here, right? So polished blackstone. There's blackstone bricks. And you even have these uh, kind of strange chisely ones. The blackstone brick wall and polished blackstone wall are excellent building materials. Um, they just, they work really, really well off of a lot of these other color so let me just uh run over here and we'll show you how much netherite did you end up with butterman um four ancient debris four ancient debris okay that's not bad first mining trip had to find the spot and then go after it not bad at all so you guys can see that we started off here and we wanted a dark base to work with right and so um let's get rid of this uh oh and by the way um if you have the time go ahead and watch the um the little short video we had on the chickens so if we do that then we move down here and do that and that. I think that adds a lot to what we're dealing with here. So if you take a look at the the color differences with this and here, I think that that will give us a lot better to work with than just these so we can use these as um, blocks that are um, just accent blocks, and we can use the blackstone as the primary color to go against, um, to contrast with, with the bright pinks and stuff. So I think we'll be able to do something really cool over here. Um, and that will be something that we, we do next so i think that next time what we're going to do is we're going to finish this up um and once we do that then we'll go and we'll get you know what i'm going to drop a bunch of this stuff off here uh once we do that we'll go and get some a line on where uh let's see let's pull these back Put these here. Pull that one back. That one back. 
have the use over here. There, and I think that'll work well. Okay, cool. So um, we'll go find Boat Chicken, and we'll try to find my bird that I uh, left in the jungle. Um, or who, they actually left me, so it wasn't wasn't really me. Uh, it was them. Uh, one of the things we need to do is close up a bunch of this stuff. But let's see, 15 levels. I'm going to have to get to the point that we actually have um, a good number of levels to do some enchanting and stuff as well because we're getting to that point where it's going to be more and more important and so we will knock all of those out and i uh, left my torches there so yeah that's about all i have cool hello kitty how's it going so butterman where are you behind you why are you always behind me um it's part of my apparently dark um buttery <laughs> powers cool so uh let's see i'm gonna do that i will put my boots back there we go yeah you see how much those got messed up just in that quick trip um but keeps us from getting eaten okay where do you want to go for the family photo um I mean do it in front of the portal okay sweet oh do you have any blackstone no but I do have ancient debris okay so you want to We'll go ahead and uh, just to get the point across why we were going and everything. Um, <laughs> nice. There, how about this? There we go. So, um, yeah, uh, we want to, once again, as always, thank everybody for hopping on. Um, next time, I think uh, there will be more building. Um, and then we will, obviously, any time that we can uh, go get Dyson, that'd be awesome. And when we do that, we might do a little bit more of the ancient mining archaeology stuff. but. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for hopping on. We really appreciate you guys uh, being supportive and everything. Tell your friends, um, share, and if you can drop a uh, comment after the stream is done, that'd be awesome. And watch out for those uh, shorter videos and everything with the highlights of these streams. We appreciate you guys, and uh, bye for now.